Alright guys, this is Wang, and uh, this is my 2014 Hobie Outback, and the seat modification that a lot of Outback owners have been trying to deal with, and this is the best, best modification I think, hands down, you can do because it's so simple. Sourced out a bunch of different forums and Facebook photos of people posting about how they mount their Jackson seat on their Outback and you know when you look at it you, you try to figure out what's what's a good way to mount it uh, differently than what other people do it and you want to mount it you know as clean as possible without things in the way for instance I saw you know somebody put uh, two by fours and foam blocks and you know yada yada this is gets in the way especially back here where the scupper holes is sometimes you know some people use the uh, scupper holes for um, the dolly I use it all the time <clears throat> but um you know I was out cleaning my dad's boat the other day and uh, uh, under the seat on the side uh, I noticed there's these mounts these rubber mounts and it was holding a pole and I was like hey why don't I just use these for the seat and luckily Academy had one pack left and these are the three quarter um, three quarter inch pipe size and dude they fit perfectly and snug so you know that that's not gonna go anywhere and nice thing is about the nice thing about this is it 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 you know it raises it up um, without this on there without the the rubber mounts on there the uh, the bottom of it don't even touch the the hole it sits about I'd say about an inch high and this raises it up about I guess an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half I haven't measured it but sits high enough for it to clear this area right here. I don't know if you can see it but if you don't have that space the spacer and uh, I guess you raise it up then this part right here will be sitting on top of the hole and back here it's not going to be sitting on anything so you have to have some sort of mounting I guess plate or whatever or in other words, I use these. <clears throat> I guess that's why they, those people use foam blocks and 2x4s, but this is a much cleaner installation because there's no bolting down, there's no nothing. Well, as far as the seat goes, but uh, the mount, it's always going to be there because I, I, I bolted it down with um, these same steel hardware. Of course, washer on the bottom so that it'll um, keep it from pulling up. Um, a friend of mine asked if it's sturdy enough over here if it'll dent it. Um, I don't think it would because it's pretty close to the scupper hole area and it's really thick in this in this part of the hole. So I think it'll work just fine. <clears throat> you just snap it on there. It ain't going anywhere. And in the front. You know, the Jackson seats come with this uh, strap, plastic strap, uh, four strap. I don't know what it's called, but um, I took a uh, a strap from uh, one of my old backpacks and just bolted it underneath this uh, hatch and. You know, it, without it, your seat's going to move up and down, especially if you're, if you're pedaling or hooking a fish or you're just um, stretching. You know, it's going to come back, but uh, strap this down. I mean, it's so simple. Can't get better than that. Don't have to mess with no bungee or anything. This, this is as easy as it can get.
with that and just tighten it down. It ain't going anywhere. So if anybody's looking into upgrading their seat, man, this is the best option you can go. Five bucks. Seat was 109 plus whatever shipping cost to your area. <clears throat> I paid about 120. So I was that out. I was out probably about $125, $130 for the seat upgrade. Alright guys, enjoy. And uh any questions or anything, then uh, just shoot a comment.